talking a bit about the uh, directions of the HP 3000 platform, both for this year and then assuming we have a little bit of time at the end, I'll talk a little bit about the future. I'm not going to talk a lot there other than to point out we do have a future beyond today's uh, a and class server, in large part because we have a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk today about the, uh, the new servers for 2001. The, these are the A and the N class servers. We're going to talk about some of the differences between these servers and the 9000 versions and maybe some cautions associated with these servers, at least in the early days. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about I.O. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail there, but we will touch on some of the I.O. connectivity uh, opportunities here. Uh, also, uh, Winston talked a lot about the effects that we have upon MPE related to the A and the N, but I'll review those also, go into a few more details. As, as we have time, I'll also try to answer questions as we go along here. We have about 45 minutes to play with. Uh, and then finally, uh, given a minute or two at the end, I'll talk about what happens beyond 2001. So this is our product line prior to February 1st. I think everyone is painfully aware of it, intimately aware of it. We've been living this product line for a number of years, kicking the performance up at the top ends of both the 9x9s and the 997 servers. 997 at the top 12-way, up to six-way multiprocessing with the 9x9 KS servers, and our venerable uh, low-end servers, our 9x8 servers, uh, coming in at the lower end of the product line. Well, with the announcement on February 1st, the, uh, the first product that I'm going to talk about here is the N-Class server. Uh, but rather than go into a lot of detail here with me as a talking head, I'm going to put someone up here who was in our lab and have him talk a little bit about it. Hi, I'm Dave Snow, the HPE 3000 Platform Product Manager here in Cupertino, California. Today we'd like to show you an N-Class server, a member of the new HPE 3000 product line, an N4000 server. What we have in front of here with this slate gray front bezel, bezel is an N4000 server. And then in back of this bezel, we actually have a space for three, excuse me, two integrated disk drives. Uh, th those disk drives can be nine, they can be 18, or they can be 36 gigabytes in size. We're now going to go around to the back of the server and take a look and see what the inside of the server actually looked like. If you go down here low on the back part of the server, what you find is the I.O. connectivity for our uh, core I.O. connection. So you have your SCSI connectivity, your LAN, and your console connectivities. Our LAN card connectivity actually won't be in place until Express 1 of 7.0. So in the meantime, we're going to give away a free LAN card with every in-class server. Now over here on the side, what we're going to find is space for additional I.O. cards. We have six I.O. connections here. Each of these are a separate PCI I.O. bus, each one somewhere on the order of 480 to 500 megabytes in performance. And we can have up to six of them on this side, and we have six additional ones on the other side of the server, giving us a total of 12 I.O. slots. Now, if we look at the insides of the server here, over on this compartment here we have space for memory. We actually have four gigabytes of memory in this server right now. The server can support up to 16 gigabytes of memory. So you have an area for four gigabytes here, four gigabytes, four gigabytes, and four gigabytes for a total of 16 gigabytes of memory in the in-class server. And then finally, as we move toward the center, you'll find the area for processors. Right here we have a single processor in this server but we do have space for a second, a third, or a fourth processor. With the N4000 server, we actually support processors of 220, 330, 440, and 550 megahertz, which gives us relative performances of between 9 and 72 on the HPE 3000 relative performance scale. That relative performance of 72 is actually 35% more performance with a four-way <coughs> configuration using 550 megahertz servers. That's 35% more performance than the previous high end of the HP 3000, the 12-way 997 server. These N4000 servers we think will be excellent servers for customers that are looking for significant increases in performance, perhaps because of the act of webifying their uh, applications, which I know is a big thing going on in the industry these days. It's also a prime candidate for customers who want to consolidate a number of servers together into a single server. This is Dave Snow. Good to talk to you.